Heisman Award winner, Vincent Bo Jackson. Good afternoon. Can you hear me? Turn up the volume, man. First of all, as the great Pat Sullivan said, War Eagle. War Eagle! That's all you have to say when you run across someone from Auburn. It's just War Eagle. You know what it means. It means hello, how are you? I love you. I respect you. See you next Saturday. <laughs> I don't write speeches. I learned something from a great man that I uh, met over 30 years ago. It says, speak from your heart. And that's what I do. That great man is Pat Dye. Uh, I made this comment last night at the dinner at the president's house. Is that when I came here in 1982, I was a young, immature kid. Four years later, I left here a 21, 22-year-old, respectable young man. And I didn't do that on my own. I had a lot of people guiding me, pushing me, making sure that I did the right thing. Um, one of my best friends that I'll have for the rest of my life is not here this afternoon. Um, my roommate, the guy that blocked for me, Tommy A.G. Um, and, and, and on a sad note, Tommy lost his mother a couple of days ago. And, I just, if I weren't here right now, I'd be with my roommate. Um, as we say when we see each other, he always say, and I always say, is that I gave that guy the four best years of my life. <laughs> we always say that. Um, some people, that I would like to thank. Because as Pat said, we didn't get to where we are by ourselves. I had 20, 30 other guys out there putting their lives on the line for me every Saturday in practice, making sure that each other went to class. Because our leader taught us, say, hey, you can be the world's best athlete on Saturday, but if you don't get your butt up and go to class on Monday through Friday, that don't mean jack. <laughs> and, and, and almost 30 years now, I try to well, I don't try, but I've instilled that in my kids. 
all the stuff that I learned when I was here, I use it on my kids. Um, as Pat said, this is a place where I met my wife. She is my best friend. She is a person that I turn to when, when, when I don't have the answers. I got people in my life that probably don't know this, but I respect you, I care about you, like you would never know. A few of those people are out in the audience right now. Rusty and Sally Dean, dorm counselors. On Saturday evenings after the football game, when everybody else is partying, there's about four or five people in Sewell Hall. And I was one of those four or five people. I can perform in front of a crowd, but getting out, that, that just wasn't my cup of tea. So if I wasn't in my room Saturday night, 10, 30, 11 o'clock, I'd be up at Rush and Sally's place having Sally's famous dip and chip and playing with the two dogs, Woody and JW. I got people in my life, Coach Waldrop and his wife, Jean. They, they, I could sit here and talk about them all day. One of my favorite moments is on Thursday mornings. I meet Coach Waldrop and we go to Hardy's and have the steak and biscuit with mustard. I don't know where he get this mustard thing from, but that's what he do. Um, people like Miss Graves, people like Sue Lockler, all these people mean the world to me. And, and, and I don't get a chance to see them that often or to thank them. But today, perfect time to do that. I know that we're here to unveil statues and so forth and so on, but those statues wouldn't be here if all of us didn't have people like that in our lives, our four years here. I um, wish that my mother was here to see this because she was my, probably my most biggest fan on the planet. And I'll never forget, people always ask me, they say, Bo, what is your most memorable moment at Auburn? And it's hands down. It's my freshman year after the Alabama-Auburn game. It wasn't the fact that we won the game. It was the fact that after we went to the locker room, <laughs> Coach Dye said, I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna go out here and spend time with our fans. And we went back out on the field And the first person that I looked for was my mother. And now, I'm the eighth of 10 kids. And my mother raised all 10 of us in about a 650 square foot home. And the only time I got to see her was on Sunday because she worked the other six days, two jobs. And when we went back out on that field, I looked for my mother, looked for about five to six minutes. And when I finally found her, the fans in the stand helped her get down to the field. And hugging my mother after that game and listening to the fans thank her for allowing me to come to Auburn was probably the most memorable moment in my four years at Auburn. I, I lost my mother in 92. I know that she's in heaven, she's looking down on us. And she, she was my favorite woman in my life. 
Well, now I got two favorite women in my life, my wife and my daughter, <laughs> who constantly, who constantly keep me on the road, doing things to make sure that they can go to the mall. <laughs> And I know a lot of you fellas out there know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Got to keep the women happy. Right there. <laughs> On closing, I know we have a long day. I'm going to close by saying this. We're all family here. And when you put on that sweatshirt or that t-shirt that says family all in, wear it with pride. Because that's what we are here. We're all family. They say, other people say, hey, we love our sports. We love this and that. But here at Auburn, we love Auburn. Thank you.